reflecting on them. That joint reflecting on them. Sunny Daniel That's good. It's chocolate cake, man. It just make you feel good. It make you feel good inside. Like, ah, ah, ah. Yo, OT Genesis made another song, bro. I was dead. This episode, we're going to be expanding this room a little bit, man. Because we got too many children to have this little tiny upstairs. Now, what I got to try to think in my head is how many couples do we have? We got Cameron. Let's, let's count together. We got Cameron and Snow White. We got me and Naomi, but also me and Julie. Well, does Julie need a separate room? I feel like we could all live in the same room. Okay, so me, Julie, and Naomi. You going to do a playthrough with two girls again, Sonny? Maybe. I don't know. That's one room. Cameron and Snow White. Wade and... See, I feel like Wade's baby mamas, he ain't close to his baby mama. I love both my baby mamas. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like Wade need his own room. Then Julia and Kiara would need their own room. Cody and Lena. That's six. Cody and Lena would be six. Yeah. So that's six rooms, man. But see, Wade is the one that's messing me up because Wade don't love neither one of these girls. Which one you like the most, Wade? Because you playing. You like Kiara. You don't like Julia at all. You just had a baby with Julia and didn't even like Julia. Look at Julia. She don't look happy about that at all. But he liked Kiara, though. So I think Wade and Kiara going to hook up. Okay, so that leave me with Snow White and Cameron. Me, Julie, and... And you know what? Can I change her name? Would y'all be mad at me if I changed her name? Can I even change her name? Y'all want to rock the hottest merch in the game? Well, go over to SaneDaniel.com slash shop, man, where you can get all the new merch that I drop. I got hoodies, t-shirts, pillows, phone cases coming, lanyards, all kind of stuff, man. So go over to SaneDaniel.com slash shop, get the hottest merch, man. I got it on right now because it's just so fly. Also, if you want my Uncensored Sin videos, you want access to all my content before it hits YouTube, and some content that never hits YouTube that's strictly exclusive, you got to go over to the Patreon account, man. It's only $2.99 a month. That's 10 cents a day. That's damn near free. And I got a discount. Discord now, man. Shout out to my homie Freedom. He set up a Discord for me so we can go over there. We can post memes. We can post girls. We can post all kind of stuff. Let's get back into the video. I actually don't think I can change your name. Okay, so basically Snow White, Cameron, me and my two, Lena and Cody, Wade and Kiera, Julie by herself. That's five rooms. Julie almost need to be out the household. I'm not even going to lie. I know y'all like Julie. I saw a couple people that said they really like Julie. Or Julia. My fault. But Julia don't have no man. And she ain't got no like love interest. She got some other dude. Some rando. Maybe she'll go live with him. But see Wade need to have the kids. Because I want Sarah to stay here. I don't want her to take the babies. So Wade would have to get custody of the children, which means she would have to be an unfit mother, which means we'd have to write in some kind of crazy storyline for Julia so she would be unfit and Wade would get custody of the children. Now, y'all might have to come up with a storyline to help me out with that. So if that was the case, then I'd only need four bedrooms. But since I don't have that being the case, Julia could live by herself because Wade and Kiara could stay here and Cameron Snow White me and my two and uh lena and cody and then wade could live down here i mean julia can live down here so we could technically leave this alone but i could expand this um see what i want to do is kind of expand these rooms out 
like the entire hallway though but I'm looking and as of right now I'm not seeing an easy way so I was thinking about doing something like this boom that's a bedroom for two people you see what I'm saying you could share that boom that's a hallway for two people I'm just playing so I could definitely do something like that just expand these out so you had a two main bedrooms and then you could have you could even extend this out a small amount if you needed to you don't really need to though because see the only reason mine needs to be bigger is because I'm gonna have two girls living in this house in this room with me I'm gonna have Kiara I mean I'm gonna have uh, Julie and Naomi so it's gotta be like enough room for both people and why are y'all living together I mean we kinda all smash together we got kids together we got a great relation we kinda like swingers <laughs> but like swingers with only the two of us you know what I'm saying only Julie and Naomi are swingers with all three of us. All three of us can swing with each other. You see what I'm saying? So we kind of like swingers. You feel me? Wade and Kiara, though, since Wade got two kids, he was going to take this room. So it's going to be Wade and Kiara right here. And then he could have the two kids in there. See, I feel like Julia wouldn't be a swinger. Julie is his first baby mama. That's it. So that's what I'm thinking. It being somewhat like this. Let me get another bite of this chocolate cake. Because it's just so good, man. It's so good. Let's just get another bite of it. Y'all want to see what it look like? Look at that focus, man. I wish my new camera focused that good. Did y'all see that focus? Look at this. Bang. Clean. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Man. That's what Naomi tastes like. <laughs> a bland, a bland. All right, so how y'all like this on the outside? How does this look out here? The roof needs to be pulled over. But other than that, how does it look? Whoops. Uh, I think it look all right. Ain't nothing wrong with it. We got a little balcony right here, which is cool. You can step outside. That's kind of cool. Um, And then on this side, you know, it is what it is. I actually don't think this is bad at all. I couldn't say it's bad at all. But what I do need to add to make this feel realistic is something to hold this roof up over here. Because right now, wasn't nothing holding it up. So yeah, like that. I actually think that looks all right. Is that a mirror? What the hell is a mirror on the outside of my... Yeah. I actually think that looks really good, man. So let me go ahead and uh, fix this outside up, make all this wallpaper match. Because for some reason it wasn't. I think everything else is fine. And then we could get into the actual nitty gritty of this room. And the lighting too, because the lighting is off in here. But a lot of that has to do with the fact that I don't have my lights lined up. Which I could do real quick. So that's one there, and then what we put one here. I think that's enough though. I mean, to be completely honest, it probably would be enough. I'm trying to think, that's on the line. So that would be more like here. And then the fan could go dead center. At least it looked like it could go dead center. Why ain't it letting me put it there? You saying that this fan can't go here? Because it's going to interfere with the lights? 
These lights ain't supposed to be in the... Oh, these are in the way. There we go. Like that. That lines up perfectly. And then we could add another little hallway light just to give it some more extra. Finish the carpet up to make it look right. Just extended that a little bit, which looks perfectly fine, even though we don't need a door here now. <laughs> I was about to have a door going out to nowhere. You know, to be honest, though, to be a thou wow, I could keep a little balcony right here. Just to go outside, you know, smoke maybe, or look at the trees, have a drink or something. I could definitely do that. Wait a minute. I don't know how it feel yet though. Let's see how it feel. So then you could just kind of keep that. Having being able to go into tab mode while you in build mode definitely is one of the best things. So you know you could just step outside, maybe see what's up. You know, I kind of like that. To have that like that instead of going straight to the edge. It gives it a little more dynamic. So I think I'm gonna do that. And as far as the windows, I wouldn't mind having, yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. Do it just like that. Because then I could add, oh, this is a little smaller on this side of the room, huh? I didn't know that. So this room is a little smaller than the other room, which is fine. It's just something to take note of. Well, I'm going to do this. I don't even need one there. How about that? We do that like that. Then do that like that. And then, you know, I like to add lights to the room. So we could go ahead and add a little lightage right here and right here. I just feel like the lights give it something. You know, they give it something. That, I think, is too close together. And since we swingers, I mean... Let's be a thousand. We could put these beds together. Let's see, move, objects on. I'm not gonna edit this video. Oh, that's not the code. What am I doing? BB dot move objects on. Um, and since I forgot, I was about to say. Oh, the the people that did the Ace Family House made that big bed. That they got in real life. Love that bed, man. Yeah, there we go. That's it right there. That's swing life, man. Really, Sonny, you gonna just rock with this swing life, huh? Yeah, I am. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not rock with it? I mean, if you had two fly honeys and everybody was cool with doing everything, and y'all kept it between y'all. I don't see the problem. I mean, it might be a moral problem. You sound like R. Kelly, Sonny. I mean, kind of, but not really. Like, these girls are all of age. You see what I'm saying? These girls is 20-something years old. I ain't messing with no teenies. You feel me? Let's see. Even though realistically, I probably wouldn't. I probably would just have one or the other. How often do you run into two fly girls that's really good women that really want to be by your side no matter what that are swingers with each other? It's very uncommon. <laughs> I'd say that's damn near impossible. But you know, everything is possible in The Sims. So this is why I'm thinking about laying out the bedroom. I think that looks amazing though. That bed, the way I got that together like that, I do need to add some more pictures, some more planage. I'm gonna leave a door right there, but I was thinking about adding something like this. Okay, not this though. This is not suitable for advertisers. By the way, I've been thinking, I've been thinking, 
<laughs> and I've been thinking about putting my sim videos exclusively on Patreon. That's what I've been thinking. I've been thinking like, yo, Patreon about to get all the love because Patreon is is uh, better than YouTube sometimes with 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 uh, ads. I mean, with uh, payment. So I can make more money sometimes on YouTube than I can. I mean, on Patreon than I can on YouTube. So I'm almost thinking like maybe I should just commit 100% to Patreon. The people that's paying the $2.99 a month get all the love. And the freeloaders over here. But see, I don't want to do that, man. I really didn't want to do that because I feel like the people over here are not trying to play me. Like they're trying to just watch good content. It's YouTube that's trying to f me over. But it's all right. Cause I got some hit songs lined up and they gonna have to recommend those cause I've been thinking I've been thinking that's stuck in my head now I think I need to make some more art too this art is getting old I think I'm gonna make some more art I like this side of the room this side of the room is extremely weak but we'll mess with that later um, making these rooms bigger definitely made them a little harder to design. That's because you're not a good designer, sonny. <laughs> I'll be talking sh to myself, bro. If you can't talk sh to yourself, who can you talk sh to? You know what I'm saying? Who else can you talk sh to? If you can't clown yourself, who can you clown? We're just going to do the same kind of design language, just different pictures. Different pitches, different pitches. I'm gonna have to listen to that so it'll get out of my head. Maybe I should make the TVs a little bigger. I mean, you could definitely do that. It's gonna be in the way of this dresser, though. But I mean, who needs a dresser? You see what I'm saying? Who needs a dresser when you got cabinets? That sounded better in my head than it came out. <laughs> when you got cabinets. Nah, but seriously though. If I have cabinets, why do you need a dresser? Because your dresser could be in those cabinets. Man, this is a big TV. I don't know if this is realistic, bruh. I don't know if y'all saw the TV in my room. That's pretty realistic. By the way, I just put new lights in there. Did I put those shoes in the... I think I put those shoes inside the vase. All right, y'all gonna play with me, huh? Okay, we're just gonna set them right there in the end. See, this works, though. Because then I can put the iPad over there. I can still put the candle in here. I can still put the switch in here. I just don't need this. See? That works out perfectly. Are they still going to be watching Sniper Wolf? Um, I mean, yeah, why not, man? I like Sniper Wolf. She cool. I've been rocking with Sniper Wolf a long time. So we're going to leave Sniper Wolf on there. I feel like this room is too big, though. Like, I say that a lot about the rooms being too big. I don't say that a lot. What am I talking about? I guess it's just because I'm so used to this. Like, this really was a perfect size bedroom right here. And I made it bigger. Oh, you got to put the kids stuff in there. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. My bad. My bad. I didn't forget what I was supposed to be doing. So if I put the kids stuff in there, that'll definitely take place. That'll definitely take up that room that I'm missing. Where are the toddler beds? These are all for grown folks. There they go. No, nah, that's still down. This is it. No, nah, bruh. Here it go. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, man? Watch your profanities. All right, so that's for little Tyrese. And then that could be for Lil Sarai. They kind of need to be the same color, though, if I'm going to do it. 
That makes things a lot difficult. Not more difficult. Not really. There we go. Blue and purple. There we go. Let's go, champ. You know, the more I'm thinking about this, I probably should move this down. Maybe I should do the bigger TV and all of that in this room. Same thing I did in that room, but in this room. Because I think that room needs to be set up differently. Well, I don't need to delete this. I just need to make this bigger. And then I need to just go ahead and take from them and put it in here. Because see, that's going to look better in this room than it will in that room just off the strength that I don't have to worry about well shit I got two kids too what am I talking about this room's a little bit bigger though that just feels better it looks better it fits better I wish I had some high heels that would have been cool to put that on each side I don't want to put the same shoes I got all these Jordans I ain't got no high heels we could just pretend that she got her J's though too and what about, what's her name? She got some shoes too? Everybody got shoes. Okay, there we go. It just adds a little bit of realism. Even though I probably would never have my shoes out in my room like that, to be honest. Just in the way. We still playing Final Fantasy VII? Of course we are. I might change that though. Okay, and then what I'm thinking... Is maybe not had these beds. Did not make some custom content. I think I did, man. Did not do something with these. Maybe I just made them black and white. Is that what I did? Oh no, these are them right there. I made black, purple, black, and purple. This is all black. Then I did black and purple. Then I did black, black, and purple. Well, I could just do this black and white. That'll go perfectly. For my two children. And I could put that there. Or. I could do something like this. That might be cool like that to be honest. I could still kind of keep it symmetrical. I think I should have just thought of that for this instead of stealing everything. Because that looks cool like that too. Not sure about my floral choices yet. But you know all of this stuff gets changed throughout the playthrough. So we ain't going to trip too much on nothing. Maybe I'll take this window up and put the picture there. I kind of like this picture above the bed like that. Or maybe I'll add a little tiny window. I don't think I need these. And I'm thinking about adding, not a window, but the, yeah, a window. What am I talking about? I don't even know. I'm talking about the little windows, man. Windows 10? Nah, bruh. The little windows, these. Quicker for me to do that than trying to find it. See, I could drop one of these little windows right there. Well, on this one, I can't because this is not the same dimensions. I could drop this one right there, though. Are these just open? Yeah, these are open. I need to probably get those other windows. Because to be a thousand with you, I wouldn't want my bedroom windows to always be open like that. If I'm keeping it a thou wow. So I probably need to grab the windows that I got downstairs and uh, switch those out up here to these. Because I like these windows better just so you can have them closed off. Because I mean, let's be real. Who wants their bedroom wide open all the time? <laughs> 
I see people in these neighborhoods do that, man. It's like, bro, what are y'all doing? Y'all just got your window wide open. It's stupid. And if you leave your windows wide open like that, don't. Because <laughs> you must not be from the streets if you do that. Because you got your whole house exposed in the middle of the night. What's wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with you? I need to take that out of there before I get some kind of issue with that. So this is just basically a bigger version. Let's see what it looked like from the inside. Okay. I might change the color of that. Maybe raise the TV up a little bit too. You know, I kind of regret not buying a mount that I could raise up and down. Because <laughs> my TV be a little bit too high, a little bit too low sometimes, I should say. And I wish I could just pull it up a little bit, but I can't. So I'm thinking about doing something like that. And maybe taking the shoes up too. Or just putting them on this side. Something like that. How y'all think of how, how y'all like that? What y'all think of that? That don't look bad, do it. And that's giving me me, Naomi, Julie, and my two kids. That's five people sleeping in that room right there. How they gonna get in the middle of the bed? I think they can move over. I think. I hope. I really hope. Because if they can't, it's going to be a problem. And then we're going to just get them the same beds because they're black and white and it just goes with the room. And I pretty much just do the same thing that I just did here. I should have never took theirs out, but I did. So it is what it is. Give them that iPad back. Give them a switch. And then give them that candle. Change the color. They switch to something different. There we go. Now, do I want to stick with the plants that I had or do I want to go with something different? I really don't know, man. This plant game is kind of weak. I'm just a symmetrical freak. You already know this. I could put a floor lamp up, though. I wonder how a floor lamp would look. I actually, um never do that and that might be a good thing to symmetrize <laughs> symmetrize to symmetrize to make it symmetry basically is what I'm saying to sym symmetricalize it you can tell who really went to college can't you alright let me just put this on each side Let's put that over there like that um, that's not terrible. I can't say I love it either, though. So I'm thinking about just extending the TV stand because I really don't care for that all like that. Put the shoes over here. Give me some more shoes because I feel like Wade would line his shoes up. I just feel like he would. He got that Cleveland... Cleveland jersey on. I feel like he would be in the shoes. So he would line his joints up. See, I'm not really in the shoes like that. I just like them Balenciagas. I want the flyest tennis shoes. I want the flyest shoes I can get, but like I'm not really into them like sneaker culture. I'm not really into it like that. But them Balenciagas is my choice. I really don't think I'll buy any other tennis shoes other than Balenciagas, to be completely honest. Those those socks, bruh. They just... I mean, my favorite shoe before them was City Socks. Adidas City Socks. So to have designer shoes that are just as comfortable... Like, you gotta go with those. Okay, so now we got those two rooms done. I probably should change the windows. Since I'm up here doing it. That only makes sense. What about everybody else's room? Should I change their windows too? Yeah, I probably should. And then I got to get his lightage together too because his lightage is, lightage is all off. He don't even have... He don't even have a light. 
where I put this in the line, the first line over from that wall, which means be something like that. And that will be in the center and then this will be there. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking, man. That's how I'm thinking. Oh, you said replace the windows. Let's replace these windows then. Okay. How we feel about that? I still want to keep it where nobody comes up here to do anything except sleep. Well, we got this playroom too. You know, I was thinking maybe I should take some of these toys and put them downstairs. Might kind of make it feel realistic like we got children. Children's. I want the kids to like be downstairs and stuff too. I feel like that would look cool for the living room. I mean, yeah, it kind of clutters up the living room a little bit. But when you have kids, it's kind of the beauty. Like, I can't wait to have this beautiful house. But then, like, have clutter and toys everywhere because it's like you got kids, man. It's part of the beauty of it. The kids love it. I mean, definitely clean up the crib. But the clutter and the fun for the children is worth it sometimes. I like the pink roof. It reminds me of The Simpsons. So we're going to keep that. Uh, the building blocks, I don't really know what this is, but we can bring them down here. I don't know what this does for me. We could put them in the living room. It's just fun, man. It's got a good vibe in here. Okay, so that bedroom's done. This bedroom's done. So let me just make sure everybody's got some sense. And what does that mean? That means, wait a second, let me just see where we at. That means I'm going to have these people go in their own selective rooms. So, okay, me, go upstairs, go here, go here, go here. Then Wade's going to live here with Kiera. Then we're going to have Cameron and Snow White. Then we're going to have Cody and Lena and then we gonna have Julie let me just make sure all of this works out the way it's supposed to work out I'm not bringing the kids up here I'm just people okay clearly the elevator doesn't work because no one came up here uh I thought the elevator worked <laughs> what did I do wrong with the elevator working Elevator. Got one there. Got one there. What's the problem? So it's saying that the elevator is not working because of the door. So that could be a problem. Same here because of the door. Okay. So y'all saying that you can't have a door that's close. Is basically what you're saying. I don't know if I want to have this open like this. Which means I'm going to have to indent this to make this a doorway. Is that what you're telling me? I really don't want to do that. But there's got to be some reason. I mean, what's the reason you can't go upstairs? Hold up. Let me, let me see. Why are you saying you can't go upstairs? You saying no bueno. So you can you just like not go up the elevator like what's the problem you saying no the elevator still work right bro I would be heated if these elevators don't work no more I am not gonna lie to you I mean I guess they got new stairs right I can make a spiral, spiral staircase if these stairs don't work I'm gonna be very upset I mean elevators. So I'm going to just test it. I'm going to put the elevator here. And I'm going to put this elevator here. Or. Oh, Bruh. Can I get somewhere to put this elevator where it'll stay? 
Really? I, there's no place for me to put this elevator? Are you serious? Alright, bro. You really testing me. You really are testing me. If I deleted that, could I still put it there? Can't intercept other objects. What other objects, though? What other objects are you talking about? The light? This? What's the other objects? Can't intercept other objects. Bitch, what other objects, though? There's literally nothing in front of this elevator. Is it this? Is it these? Like, what's the problem? You still talking about, oh, it's something right there. What is that? You put everything back. <laughs> okay, I just want the one thing to be moved is the elevator. And then this light right here is in the way. And then that would be the door is the next thing. Now what? Is it this light? So now the elevator should work perfectly fine. Could I put the light back there? Yeah, I can't. It'll still be fine. So now I should be able to use this elevator and go upstairs. You still saying you can't use it. It's almost like they can't interact with the elevator. Like it's not even registering for them to use the elevator. They might not work, man. They might have been patched to something. This is the working resident elevator number two. Let's try the fancy one. It shouldn't matter. But let's try it. Still nothing. So they must have patched the elevators, y'all. They had to. Which means I'm going to have to build steps. You understand how not happy about that I am? I hope that I can even do it. I don't even know if I can do it. Because I know the steps in this game. See, I ain't going to be able to do that. Okay. We've run into a big problem. And that big problem is the elevators don't work. So off camera, I'm going to have to figure out some kind of situation. But basically, these rooms are hooked up pretty nicely now. I just want to get a good look at, at the rooms before I pause this episode. I got to figure out this elevator situation, though. So we got Julia's room right here. Julia's down here by herself, chilling in this room. Then we have Cameron and Snow White right here in this room. Nice. This is a good vibe, man. I like this, the way this looks. Then we got Lena and Cody in this room. Again, good vibes. Then we got me, Naomi, and Julie in this room. Why am I saying good vibes about these and not saying it? I think it's just because it's so cozy and small. This one's kind of large. But decent vibes. Then Wade and his girl, Kiera. Um, I don't know. I might want to change the way I did this TV stand and stuff in here. Not terrible, but definitely needs a little bit of love. But that's the end of this episode because we ain't been doing nothing but doing these rooms. Next episode, we're going to be playing the game. But I need y'all to post in the comments who you want me to be with. Love y'all. Peace. You know how he does.